Let's look at how we use Maple to do linear algebra. <coughs> just some simple things. Um, you are given this file, so just remember when you open your Maple file, you need to load certain package, and that's this what this line means with linear algebra. You need to move your cursor behind this column over here and highlight it and then put enter. That way this package linear algebra will be loaded into this program. Okay. Now how do we enter a matrix? This is probably the easiest way. You can you need a name and then colon equal to matrix. You have to enter the matrix exactly in this way. The best way you can do is just modify the entries. And this matrix over here is 4 by 4, entered by row over here. You can see first row, second row, third row, and then put a pair of brackets around it. If you want to see if a square matrix is invertible, you find its determinant, determinant M2. And you find it's zero, so it's not invertible. You can't invert this matrix. Now you may ask what kind of the commands Maple has we can use to do linear algebra. If you want to do that, you can change the column over here to semicolon. So you move over there and backspace and change to semicolon. And this way, if you press enter again, you will see a list of commands you can use within this package. And there are a lot of them. Okay. But if you change this column back to semicolon, you suppress the output. So you can do that with any command over there, enter. So if you move your cursor back behind these two commands and enter, then you see again calculating. Return the matrix and also the value of the determinant. If you don't want to see the value being returned, you can change colon to semicolon. Um, semicolon to colon. So you do this and then enter, then you won't be able to see the matrix. Let's look at a different matrix, and then this matrix over here is entered differently. You can see over here, 3, 3, that means 3 rows, 3 columns. And you just enter these numbers one by one, first row, second row, and third row. And this matrix is invertible, and you find its inverse you can see the inverse is given over here. Okay, so this matrix is invertible. So that covers the first op first topic. Now we're going to try to see how we can solve a linear system. In general, you have a non-homogeneous system, so you want to solve ax is equal to b, so you need another b vector. So this is how we can just enter a vector. So v is a vector. 1, 2, 3, and you enter, and that's 1, 2, 3. And now you can do multiplication as well. V3 M3 times V is matrix multiplication, and that's what you have. And to solve a system, this would be matrix M3X is equal to V. So what we are solving over here is try to find the solution with the coefficient matrix given over here, and the right hand side is simply 1, 2, 3. Because we know the coefficient matrix is invertible, so we can actually have a unique solution for any vector v over here, and that's the solution we get after you solve it. You can see the solution is going to be 38, 42, and 24. Let's try another one. This is w vector 2114. Okay. 
2114. And let's try to solve M2W. In general, you cannot solve for a solution. The reason is that this matrix over here isn't invertible. But fortunately, we picked a really good factor over here. You can actually solve it. Let's try to see what's going to be the solution. And you see over here, because our matrix is not invertible, there is a free variable inside. This free variable is called T14, T14, T14. And you can take any value for T14, and then you have a solution. This is the so-called parametric solution we have for the linear system. Now here is another one. We redefine the matrix here. And then the vector on the right hand side is 0, 0, 0. So this is going to be a homogeneous system with coefficient matrix given by this. And we know for a homogeneous system, we always have solution, at least one, right? So we are solving this system. This is the matrix A. X vector is equal to B. B is 0, 0. Now let's try to see what's going to be the solution. We again see a one parameter family of solutions. This T4 is our arbitrary number, the parameter, so called free variable. And it, this is a way of solving a linear system using Maple. At least we can use this software to verify if our solutions are correct when we are solving a linear system.